Hi, Mia. Hello, Kate. So nice to Hello. meet you. You too. Um, I'm a big fan of your work. I run Bird's Eye View and we are a charity that spotlights films by women to audiences. So we worked on Berlin Syndrome um, in the UK um, on the release and I've seen all your work. And so really, it's a delight to meet you. Th thank you. And congrats on Black Widow. Wow. Thank you. What a massive leap up. That's where I wanted to start, actually. Just how did the work that you've made to date inform how you approach Black Widow? I think the way you work with actors, even if it's on a huge Marvel film or the way you work with them on a tiny art house film, that doesn't change. It's just the infrastructure around you that shifts. Um, I think what my films did was they gave me a focus on surviving like the young women in my film survive. And I think that's what Scarlett saw in my work and why she wanted to approach me. Oh, so that's how I was going to ask you, how, how did the, how did it actually happen that you got that's this gig? Right. So she, um, she saw my films and um, particularly Laura, the German mm. language one okay. and said, this journey is interesting that this girl goes on and how would that be to work with Kate? And then we started talking. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I, that's a brilliant film. I love that film so much. It's stunning. And and do you, and, and how then did you, um, was there anything, what were the big challenges really? Like what, what were the challenges of moving from kind of low budget or kind of more auteur work into a kind of bigger machinery? Just the numbers of people in terms of I'm quite shy and you rarely have a meeting less with less than 30 or 40 people, sometimes 60 people. Sometimes we'd have meetings with 80 people, 100 people. Um, but so there's a lot of talking about ideas because they have to be translated to so many different departments. Um, but what's also really beautiful about that is you have so many people working to make this vision happen. So I don't know, it was a joy. It was an absolute joy to make, but it was bloody hard. But it, um, it was so fun and I had such an amazing time with, um, with the actors, yeah. We have a community fund, so we are going to pay for a lot of um, women and girls, whether they're aspiring filmmakers or people from who have been massively affected by the pandemic, that we're paying for them to see Black Widow. So this interview is for right. them. So your story of resilience, like what, what, how do you keep going? I mean, in a way, your story of is resilience in terms of being a film, just being a filmmaker. <laughs> And then, and then how, yeah, what are your kind of tips for keeping going, especially when you're faced with those kind of challenges? I think, strangely enough, I think there's a moment to speak out and a moment to be silent. And I think both are our great strengths as women, because I think sometimes we have to hold our cards really close to our chest. So when someone says, you can't do that, that's not going to work you'll never be able to do that often I was silent but I just did it anyway and I think and then there's moments where we have to speak out especially about injustice or you know the obvious the obvious things um, but I'm not a guru but I think what I like in the film about resilience is Natasha has to forgive herself because yeah. I think women are often we have so much shame um, about our lives because that's how we've been made to feel. And I think what happens to her is she's able to forgive herself. And I think for all of us, that would be liberating, actually. I was going to ask you, actually, what else did you want viewers, particularly women and girls, to take away from the film? I think don't let them shame us. 
Mm. use our words use our humor use our intelligence we're so much we have so much um Mm -hmm. and i'm so sick of the way they make us feel and the way Mm -hmm. they overlook us Mm -hmm. so um um yeah it's it's personal to me because and to scarlet i think because when we first met the very first times we met that was some of the things we spoke about in our lives and it's not just what they've done to us it's what we do to ourselves yeah because i think a lot of what we do is we even from childhood into our adolescence we all play roles that we think we need to play either to get love to get ahead to survive so we spoke about that too you know so all that stuff. I've got a 13 year old daughter, so it's, it's really in my mind. Mm-hmm. I mean, the film interrogates that actually, doesn't it? These different identities actually, and the um, duty versus being true to oneself. And um, yeah, in a way like, you know, you could kind of, re- the feminist reading of this film is, you know, the kind of what, what internalized misogyny does. Yeah, yes. And that it's another woman who speaks to her and says, no, I was there. I saw it too. I saw you. And who are you really? Who are you under the superhero, under the femme fatale? What are you really? And I think when we can let that part of ourselves be seen, Mm -hmm. that's, it's really precious isn't Mm it it is and just before we wrap um what sources of films or art or literature particularly by women inspired you while it as you were making this um you know what inspired me actually was um some of the actors that had played survivors so Um, I'll tell you who inspired me, Jodie Foster in Silence of the Lambs, because she plays a character who so wants to belong. She so wants to be seen by the patriarchy as a capable person. Um, And Sigourney Weaver in Aliens and Emily Blunt in Sicario, Florence Pugh in Lady Macbeth. so, I mean, Holly Hunter in The Piano. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, a lot. A mm, lot. Wow. Okay. And, and what other message in terms of coming out post-pandemic? I mean, it's such a moment, isn't it, where cinemas mm-hmm. are just reopening. Like, what does it feel like to be putting this out in the world now? Really joyous and yeah. really exciting. If people can see it in a cinema and it's safe I'm so happy that that's going to happen because I just think these films are made to be enjoyed with incredible sound and with people laughing with you yes beautiful yeah I can't wait to do the same I watched it on the link but I'm going to go to the cinema with with one of our community groups so Kate congratulations and yeah I can't wait to see what you do next